So there's a house down the bottom there. And from the house, you have views of the mountains. McGrath's hump's behind the tree. I'll just turn around and show you the, the entrance area. There's stables up the top there. They could be pretty easily converted into something. But most of this area all along here, right up to the top of the driveway is fairly, fairly level, fairly There's flat. There's quite a lot of flat area near the house. There's a big round yard just up the top past my car. So for, you know, football or soccer or cricket or what have you. Here's the house just back down there with the McGrath's Walking back out to the courtyard area. It's the kitchen area, walk through to the main bedroom, living area, fireplace, and walking under cover to second bedroom area. So it's a good size. It's a loft area up there. There's another good bathroom in here too. Coming through into the main bedroom. This would have to be connected to the other space behind me or behind this bedroom. And there's bathroom. All right, I'm going into the main living room. As you can see it's mid-century modern, high ceilings, desk area, timber floorboards, fireplace, seating area, great views of McGrath's hump, and the river is down the bottom there. Deck, little plunge pool, more decking. Going into the kitchen area. It's a concrete slab. All of the fixtures and fittings are very, very good. Aircon. Kitchen. Very frustrating. I've hardly any battery left, but this is the garage area. We have a bathroom. Concrete slab. Then you have a laundry area here. And then you have the garage. There's plenty of structure here to turn this into a, definitely into a bedroom if you wanted to. Okay, I'm up at the house. This is a, Garage area, there's a laundry and a bathroom in here. Swimming pool. It's a kitchen. The main house with a bedroom and a bathroom. Second part of the house, you have to walk outside. Bedroom and bathroom, that's a bit bigger. And then raised wicker veggie gardens. I'm almost back up at the house now. So that's garage area, main house. Escarpment. And off to Thora. Studios around the corner. Okay, I'm just going in the studio. This is all limestone. This little fridge area. Stove. Bed. It's really well done. These louvers shut to block out the western sun. If you're sitting out there. And the view from this is really really good just up at the studio now so there's the bellinger river there 
that big swimming hole, peninsula, paddock, and house is up to my right. Just walking back up toward the house now. It's the studio. I'll take a quick video of that. The house up the top, paddocks, grass hump, never, never. Bellinger, that big okay, this is a slightly different angle. The studio, the house is behind the trees, all the paddock area. Never, never over beyond those trees. Corner of the paddock, McGrath's hump. And there's the Bellinger River. So this is a, probably one of the best swimming holes on the whole Bellinger down along here. This is known as Red Banks. It's always... Um, it's always like this. You see the, see the house in the distance there? So I'm just walking down the Bellinger River. It's pretty low at the moment. We haven't had rain for a while. In a flood, it'll go down. Well, after about 30, 40 mil of rain, it'll go down both to the right there and the left. I'll just turn around. up there and the never never comes in just where that shadow is there along this whole peninsula this is all part of the property from a big circle all of this the paddock start over there and the house is so i'm right standing on the edge of the peninsula there's the never never there's the bellinger that's going upstream and this is down down the river and i'll just kind of jog along here So this is all part of your river frontage as well. It's pretty deep. It's a really beautiful spot. And it goes down around the corner there. In a flood, it'll go both down to the right and to the left. And that paddock in the distance I'm standing, is your... I'm standing down here at the junction of the Never Never and the Bellinger. So the Never Never comes in down through here. It's a Never Never. And that is the Bellinger River. As you can see, it gets a lot larger. Um, this is all the Bellinger River here, so it's very deep. But you can see just all the way up there is the house. So that big long paddock was just below the house. So it's got massive Bellinger River frontage and never never over this side. I'll walk under this section of the paddock. House is up behind me. Through the final gate, this is all still part of the property. And I'll walk down to the never never. G'day Ben, for some reason the zoom's not working, so I'm gonna take a couple of little videos. That's the um, studio accommodation. You spent about 280 on that. That's the house up the top so i'll walk up to that in a minute but that's west northwest facing i'm going to turn around the never never is all the way down here along this section beyond the bush there's probably about 300 meters there and it goes along and joins up the bellinger river at the right up another 150 meters past that and on the other side you've got the Never Never River, I'm doing a full circle. Sorry, the Bellinger River is all the way there to just below the stable. I forgot to get one section. Front gate, the cattle yards here. This slope is all part of it as well. So right along the road, this fence line, up to that fence you can see at the end. It's a bit of a shelter. Comes down here, the tree line's pretty much the boundary. And front entrance, a part small car. That's the stables, quite large, about 140 square meters, I think. Continue through to the main house. Everything else was built around this, so it's mid century modern. Nice timber paneling, 
work area, high ceilings, fireplace, good view there. Let's come back out to the main bedroom, access to the veranda. and through to the bathroom, which is again, completely renovated storage. And coming through to the back of the main living area, kitchen area, back into Another bedroom pavilion, dark timber floors, good sized bedroom, high ceiling, fan, loft area, and in your bathroom, quite tastefully done. Looking around the side of the house, seating area. Kitchen pavilion, skylights, really well done. Concrete floors, veggie garden courtyard area. Goes through to the main section of the house. Little plunge pool over there. into the main house. It's called Old Man Dreaming. So we're standing on the corner boundary, Red Banks. That massive swimming hole is just down below this. The fence going through to the peninsula vegetation is just there. Old Man Dreaming, it's a big flat paddock, this one here. It's very large, there's the studio. And there's the house just up there. So it's a, it's a pretty easy slope down here. You could ride a push bike up, but you get strong legs. Okay, so the house is up there. There's the paddock that I walked down. That fence where the gate is back there. There's a bit of a grass section here. So this is big casuarina trees through here. It's a little bit of lantana, tree ferns. There's a never never big water gums through here, bit of privet. But I reckon this bush goes all the way through that she oak there would be about 50 meters from the end so that's probably around 150 200 meters away from me now okay so i the first part i went into the river was just below the house down here i went down that paddock where the horse is and around into the bush second place i went in was just near this big tree here so probably a third of the way along the river section and then I'm just going to go down and get into the bush on that peninsula area. And it's pretty sweet. There's a lot of elk horns and stag horns on this, this big tree. Um, I'll go through the fence. There's the Never Never. There's the Bellinger. And I'll come back to you when I get through okay, the I'm fence. down on the river, probably halfway along the paddock. That sandy beach or that rocky beach is probably there's another 300 meters of never never so i'm going to come back to where i am now i'm pretty sure i could swim along here and my arms wouldn't hit the ground if i swam laps all the way up here and the property ends oh, way up past those past those rocks up there up around there. So there's a big hole just there. You can see why it's a hole that'd scour it out. So it's pretty 
it's really pretty here. The vegetation's just big water gums all the way along this section here. Actually, I'll video myself walking across there. pretty deep down there. It would be, I don't know, maybe up to my neck there. That's a massive swimming hole up there. That's just past the property. Let's see if I can give you an idea here. This, it's pretty deep down there. Let's see if I can zoom in. It's about no, five, six feet deep there. And there's the... So I'm almost down the bottom of it here. It's a bit of a scramble in this section, but you could pretty easily put some steps in. It's a big swimming hole. Okay, I'm standing at the boundary fence here. The house is just up those that slope. I went down through the paddock about a third of the way down. There's a bush track here. It's probably about a seven minute walk, six minute walk. And then... Here's the swimming hole. So I'm just going to go down to this hole here and show you from the bottom. So I'm coming around where my car is parked to the edge of the water tank. This is all reinforced concrete. My understanding is there's the dam. I'll zoom down to it. Back at the driveway. I'm walking down the driveway, down to where my car is. These are just macadamia trees along here, three of them. Go to the other side, so my car slopes back down to that bush down there, which is all on the property, and there's a dam down the bottom. That's a 100,000 litre water tank. Just there. This is the area up to the stable, so it's a fairly gentle slope. A few silky oaks. Gentle slope here. Next door. And that's coming back down to the house. It's like a long area of relatively level land and through to the house down there. I'm walking, I'm halfway along that chip bark area, big jacaranda tree and the pines, it starts to slope a bit over there. So the jacaranda up here to where that black plastic is, fairly level all the way around here. That's a big silky oak tree. And again, it starts to slope off over near that pine tree. It's a guava tree. Chickens, it slopes off on the other side of that fence in the driveway. I'm going back down to the house area. It's all pretty level here. I'm just walking out of the main section of house. That's the courtyard. It's fairly level. It'd be two or three steps up this whole area here. It's quite large. I would say it would be oh, probably 30 metres by 400 square metres here of relatively level land. You've got macadamia trees here and here, paper bark big jacaranda, a wattle and a pine. Keep the pine, get rid of the wattle, keep the jacaranda. This whole area could be a nice lawn. Okay, so I'm walking into that second bedroom or pavilion. It's pretty good size. There's a loft area up the top there. It's very high ceilings, loft. Going back to the main house area, there's a deck there, 
which catches its north facing that deck and bathroom, all been completely renovated. Just walking up behind the house. Just coming in for the last video. Veggie Gardens. House. Okay, driving in past the stables. They're about, I think about 120 metres of stables there. This is pretty level, that's the round yards for the horses. You could level all of that section out. The bush line there is pretty much the boundary. Drive all the way down. Right, Ben, I'm just driving into the entrance now. So, there's some yards that paddock right up to the end there is part of yours as well. And then I'm just going to be driving the entrance. I'm heading in a west or westerly direction. It's relatively level here. Got a bit of slope on it. Hopefully you can hear me. Driving past the stables. I'll split this into two videos. <laughs>